Hey everybody, welcome back to Body Time. Harry McCullough here. Uh, there was a shooting on Monday around 3 p.m. on the east side of Homer. Here to talk about this, Chief Travis Stereo of the HPD, Homer Police Department. So, uh, thank you, uh, Sheriff uh, Chief. <laughs> we appreciate you being here. Sorry. Uh, we know any more information about what's going on with this incident? So, I guess we'll start off. Um, yesterday, uh, the 24, 3 o'clock p.m. Our units responded to reports of some gunshots in uh, 2600 block of Payne Street. When they arrived, they located a 16-year-old uh, male uh, that was suffering from apparent gunshot wounds. Um, Life-saving measures were attempted, but uh, as a result of the shooting, uh, he did die at the scene. He did not make it, tragically. Um, it's just, you know, really, really sad day. Somebody so young uh, to be taken. And uh, I do know, and uh, we're getting a few phone calls about rumors that this was, this started at school, it started on a school bus. So based on our investigation thus far, we have no information that tells us that this started at school, that this had anything to do with the school bus. Um, we have no information that tells us that um, there's any type of retaliation planned at any schools or anything like that because we know that there were concerned parents. Um, I was on the phone last night talking with Mr. Bubba Angeron, uh, trying to keep him updated. The um, the victim in the case, uh, I know eventually he'll uh, uh, the name will be released, but out of uh, respect for the family, we're not doing doing so at this time. But um, he wasn't even enrolled in a school in Terrebonne Parish. He was actually a student of um, uh, Lafouche Parish, and uh, he was he was over here with family. I see. So uh, yeah, that that obviously is a big concern when you see the timing mm -hmm. of it. I think a lot of people were concerned that it was something that happened mm -hmm. at school, but he he's either in East School or in Ter or Lafouche Parish, but not from uh, Ellen. Well, on that side would be Ellender or South Terrebonne. Yeah, yeah. So he, he didn't go to either one of those schools. Um, he actually, he didn't even go to a school in Terrebonne Parish, right. like we said. He was he was in town, um, and he he was with family for the day, and he was uh, not a student of Terrebonne Parish. So we don't have any reason to believe that there are any school campuses in any type of danger. Now, in the event that we do develop information, we, we're going to take, we're going to take uh, measures uh, to uh, protect the children. So, uh, Chief, as, as we're talking, <clears throat> is there a suspect involved? Is there anything like that? So, since yesterday afternoon, our detectives have been working tirelessly to try and figure out exactly what happened. Um, we are receiving information that there were people out there at the scene, that uh, there were other juveniles at the scene. So, you know, I, and I, I do feel that, you know, these witnesses Hopefully, it'll come forward. The um, I have all the confidence in the world and our investigators that they can do everything they can to uh, get closure for this family. Um, this isn't something that uh, we'll tolerate in uh, Homa, and we're going to do everything we can to get closure for this family. All right. So uh, east side of Homa, we we do have a map. Uh, mm -hmm. Take a look at it. And you describe where Payne Street is. So uh, Payne Street is a connecting street that runs from Howard Avenue to East Street. It's, um, it's, it's just a connecting street that connects the two streets together, and it has a couple of streets off of it. It runs along the drainage ditch. It's on East Homa, and um, it's just a high-traffic area. Right, and so you have maybe witnesses you're trying to develop right now. I mean, right. obviously it's a daytime event, so maybe, maybe somebody saw some, or you might have a camera or a right, security right. camera, that kind of thing. Yeah, so um, we're working on all that. They're looking at a few different leads. Um, I, I know I'm not releasing much information on it right now because, you know, the sure. most important thing is we have to protect the uh, the witnesses, and also we have to protect the integrity of the investigation. Right. And you got juveniles involved. In right, right, right. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to do everything we can to uh, bring closure, and at some point in time we will, you know, be able to provide a lot of detail. But we just wanted the public to know sure. that, um, you know, there is no information right. that tells us that any of the school campuses are any any type of danger right, right. Now. And, you know, obviously that's the first thing anybody's worried about is there's going to be a retaliatory thing. Is, right. it, is you know, are we going to see anything like that? Uh, so if you do have a tip, uh, buy your region's crime stoppers would be the way to help out. Yeah, yeah. So, we, you know, obviously we'd like to encourage everybody to call the police department. Um, that's 
873-6371 or Bayou Regions Crime Stoppers where you'd be eligible for a um, $1,000 reward. And that phone number is 1-800-743-7433. Or you can go on the website and there'll be other means. You can uh, mm-hmm. drop a tip online and just go to uh, Bayou Regions Crime Stoppers and uh, just just but yeah, Google this is in the city limit, so HPD is the leading agency that's right, here. That's right. But look, if there's if there are other officers and you're out there and you have information, you feel comfortable in contacting another police officer sure. from another jurisdiction, call them. Right. I don't. We don't care how the information right. comes in. Right. Just get in touch with us. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's always part of it is, is that you worry about escalation of these things. But right. It doesn't seem like right now that you as you're following up, there's anything like that. No, it doesn't now. People's emotions always take over. You know, we would like to encourage everybody to let the investigations run it, run its course. Don't retaliate. Let us take uh, take matters into our hands and let us handle it. Um, but, you know, in the event that we develop information that tells us there may be a retaliation coming right. back, we're gonna we're gonna get out in front of it. Yeah, you have to best we can. And, and you guys have done a great job of that in the past, mm-hmm. uh, making sure that, that things like that don't escalate. That's right. Yes, and, and that's real important. We've seen, like I said, recently Bogalusa had a real issue with that, but you guys seem to have done a, a real good job getting out in front of that. So hopefully, uh, we don't have any issues like that. So, Chief, right. I appreciate you coming by. Thank you, sir. All right, it's Travis Terrio with the Homo Police Department. We'll be right back with more bite time right after this. 